What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10, featuring a team with the Alga and Spirit Tomb. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Yo? Scroll down a little bit and support me as a content creator. Just click that subscribe button. Seriously, a bunch of Pokemon content coming on the way, especially in the recent months. We have Diamond and Pearl coming out. You bet I'm going to be doing a content on that. And when Legends Arceus comes out, you bet I'm going to be doing content on that. I want to do guides on both those games. Uh, more so Legends Arceus I want to do guides on, but I definitely want to bring content for the whole game on both of them. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Brian. Brian, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. Guys, if you want to leave me teams, leave them in my Instagram DMs. Literally, name is right below my face cam, and there is a link down in the description below. So if you guys have rental codes or teams that you want me to showcase on my channel, leave them for me, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. That also leads me to say, if you do send me a team that's not created by you, make sure you guys give me the team creator in that chat as well. Because sometimes you guys send me teams, and it's used by other PokeTubers. So I'm like, and then they come to my channel, they're like, yo, this is my team. Then I gotta switch my description, and I would rather give them a proper shout out. So just give me a little bit of notice in advance. But starting off with this team, we're getting rocking out with Spirit Tomb. Get me hyped for Diamond and Pearl. Got Infiltrator ability and Roselli Berry as its item. This Pokemon is really good for support right here because we got the Snarl for special attack drop. We got the Will O'Wisp for burns on physical attacker. Then we got Sucker Punch for stab and first turn priority. And then Burning Jealousy for our coverage move. And maybe get off a little bit more burns. Right next to him is going to be our first of two Intimidate Pokemon. I feel like we've been rocking double Intimidate a lot in the most recent videos, but it's just so good. It really is. It's Gyarados right here. Intimidate, Assault Vest as his item with Stone Edge, Power Whip, Waterfall, and Crunch. Love this moveset. I think it's really, really strong. We got our Heavy Hitting Stab move, and then we got a bunch of other coverage moves. Middle left is going to be the Heart and Soul of the team, our Restricted Mon, which is Dialga. Definitely an underwhelming Restricted Mon in the series, but still very good if used right. We got Telepathy over here and the Adamant Orb as our item. We got Flash Cannon for stab alongside with Draco Meteor for stab, Trick Room, and Protect as our final two moves. Middle right is going to be our second Intimidate Mon. That is going to be Landorus. Great Intimidate Mon. Great Pokemon all around. It can hit like a truck. We got this thing with the Choice Scarf as the item, so it's going to be able to outspeed most. And then we got Rock Slide, Earth Power, U-Turn, and Earthquake. And Earthquake can really pair well with this Dialga because Dialga cannot get hit by it due, it due to its ability. So if we're ever in a situation where we can do that, chances are I'm probably going to pop into an EQ and try to roll out from there. Bottom left corner is going to be Amoongus, great little support mod for the squad, Regenerator, and Rocky Helmet for his item. I feel like Rocky Helmet is like one of the best items for his Pokemon. It's just super, super good, especially if they have physical attackers out on the field. You can Rage Powder, force them to hit you, and take damage from that Rocky Helmet. We got Grass Knot, Spore, Clear Smoggy, Take Away, Stat Changes, and Rage Powder for our final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is Regilecki. Great Pokemon all around. Pretty standard setup for him, and he just works in any situation. We got Transistor, Focus Sash as his item, and then that Thunderbolt, E-Web, Protect, and Bolt Switch moveset. Guys, you want to try out the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Dialga and Spirit Tomb team. Before we hop into our first battle, I want to give a huge shout out to the people over at Into the AM. If you do not know who they are, I am sponsored with them. They are a men's clothing brand, and I'm telling you guys, they make some banger apparel. I absolutely love their apparel. Super, super comfortable, super great for everyday wear. You can wear it going out and about on the town, or if you're just chilling and hanging out with some dudes or hanging out with whoever, you can definitely wear them. Super comfortable, and I'm a big sweater. They recently uh, sent me like basic tees, graphic tees, and uh, tank tops. And like I said, I'm a big sweater, but their clothes keep me cool and calm throughout the day. If you want 10% off, link is down in the description below or use my code jeans at checkout. Definitely go check out their product even if you're not going to buy it because I'm telling you guys, they got some awesome products. They really do. And plus, they're getting some new restock for like winter and all that, so I would definitely give them a check out. But we're going up against a Shadow Rider Catholic team here in battle number one. We got 30 seconds to pay. And our team's looking pretty strong. We definitely got to bring an Intimidate Pokemon, but it's not going to be Gyarados because he does have Storm Dream. But he does have Storm Dream, and I think Spirit Tomb can come out here pretty strong in turn one. I really do like that. I could go Regilecki and uh, Spirit Tomb. I really, really like because we do have that Rosario Berry. I think we go Landers and Dialga. This could be great. This could be good all around. So let's rock out with these two and get ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Out of all the Pokemon, who do you think deserves a Mega Evolution? There are so many good choices. Let me know one or multiple in the comment section down below. For me personally, I think the Sinnoh starters could have absolute bangers of designs for Mega Evolutions. I think Extra Drill could look cool. And maybe like Dragonite. I think Dragonite could be dope. Same thing with like Lapras. Lapras could have, a cool, could have a cool one. I know Scissor already has one. Maybe they should give one to Cleaver eventually. The new uh, bug and, uh, was it Bug and Rock with the Axe Hands? Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. But this guy's going to end up leading the Indeedee and the, uh, and the Calyrex, which I'm really cool with. 
I'm really cool with that. I'm gonna go into a sucker punch, but I cannot because of the uh, psychic terrain. Though I think just Snarl is going to be your play alongside with an E web. I'm definitely cool. With that. I'm totally cool with that. We do have our Roselli Berry and alongside with the, uh, the what's it called? What is it? Uh, bah, 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 bah. The Focus Ash. That's what I want to say. The Focus Ash. So we'll just E-Web and we'll go into Snarl, get that special attack drop, and the follow me is going to come out here. And I believe Regilecki should be faster than the, uh, the Calyrex. Yeah. But now I think the Calyrex is still faster than the Spirit Tomb. But still, we get off some damage. We get off a lovely little speed drop. And I think next turn, we should be fine here. We're just doing the same exact turn and doing some big damage. The Astral Barrage is going to fly at the rear. And that actually might take on my Spirit Tomb. Nope. All day, baby. All day soaking up. There's our focus hash. Gotta love it. No first turn priority moves can come through here. It means our snarl is gonna be able to deal some nice damage. That is lovely. That is huge. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Which means we go into another E web. We go into another E web and a snarl. Do I do the same thing or do I go into a burning jealousy? No, I just think snarl is the play. Especially two special attackers out on the field. Let's just do that same exact turn. That was huge. I knew this lead would work up against Calyrex. And then he does protect. Again, I'm totally fine with the protect coming out here. Totally fine with the protect coming out here. He's going to take out my uh, Regilecki. Or he might just go for an Expanded Force and maybe pick up a KO on both. Let's see how this one plays out. Snarl is going to come out beforehand, and we are going to get the minus one, so Spirit Team should be able to survive here. Should be able to survive now that uh, Ndidi is minus two. But that is lovely. That is dandy. Minus two, baby. Minus two. Regilecki definitely going down here. Let's say miss it. Nope, Mystical Fire flies through here. Says, see you later, Regilecki. Okay. So, with that said, we just bring out our Choice Scarf Pokemon at this point, right? Even though Intimidate isn't going to work. I mean, he is minus one. I could just bring out him, but Choice Scarf Pokemon could... Yo, he's 277. God dang, that might be the fastest Regilecki I've ever seen. He's just cooking. He's just cooking. Uh, do I bring out the Choice Scarf? And I could just U-turn out. That might be my play. To just you turn out and save my choice card for later. I think that's gonna be my play. Because we definitely out to be the uh, Shadow Rider with a choice scarf buff alongside with him being minus one. We'll just go for another snarl into a U turn. It's gonna be our play. That is gonna be our play all day, baby. All day, yo. Spirit Tomb ripping out here. Follow me's gonna come out here. Oh, when he does go for the follow me. Mm, that's a little tough news. Actually, I should have remembered about the follow me. Should remember that, but we are able to U-turn, and that does pick up the KO there. That is lovely. Our Landers isn't going to take any damage, and I feel like our uh, Dialga is able to eat up a little bit more. So let's rock out with our Dialga. Got to go into him anyway, and he's just going to drop another Astral Barrage with Spirit. Can he eat that up? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Astral Barrage comes through here. Yo, eat this one up. If not, we get our uh, we get our what's called out here anyway. Double eat up. Okay, that's easy. Oh, so he's dead. See you later. Get him out of my face. I could potentially get off a burn here. But I might protect my Dialga. I might protect my Dialga and see if I can get something wrong with this Spirit Tomb, but I think Spirit Tomb just goes down here. But the best part about having this back end set up is going to be having the Alga and Landers in the back end, which means I can drop free EQs. But now he has that Pokemon. And Gastro. Hmm. Gastro can just go simply an easy EQ. I mean, Intimidate's gonna come out here. But not Gastro can just go for an Earth Power onto my Diablo, so. Definitely have to protect, and if I can get off this burn, if I can get off this burn, that can be huge. I can definitely be huge. Let's go into this. Let's go into our Protect. I really don't want to be getting dropped by like an EQ or an Earth Power. They could double down into me. That is an option, but. Mm, it's tough. It is real tough here. Because now I cannot go into an EQ. I have to choice into something else. Because land is just a, just a huge problem. And he takes me out with that, and then he's going for the Earth Power. Okay, so pretty smart cookie. Pretty smart cookie here. Uh, we know we outspeed. We know we outspeed with our with our Lando. At least. We know it's probably going to go my Lando, his Lando, my Dialga, and then his Gastron. So we got to throw out this Pokemon. We have a Choice Scarf ready to roll. Unless he's Choice Scarf. But I don't know if he is. He could be. Potentially. Gonna do a solid battle here. Solid battle here. Intimidate is going to come out here, which is going to work wonders, considering the Landers is physical attacking. So, how do I do this one? 
Let's drop a rock side. Is that what I want to choice into? I'd rather choice into like an earthquake or something. Thing is, if he takes out my Dialga, mm, then we're not sitting good. Then we're not sitting good. What do I want to go into, man? This is super tough. I think we just rock slide. Look for flinches, man. I think that's our best bet here. Definitely drop a flash cannon. Double down into this guy right here. Let's see how we get popping here. Rock slide's gonna fly. Give me some flinches, baby. Give me some money flinches. Getting off some nice damage. We're looking for the flinch chances on these guys. We got a crit on the gas shot, which is nice. This thing's gonna end up always oh, gonna end up flying. This thing crazy. This thing crazy. So I can definitely protect next turn. Uh, and see what happens here. Does he flinch here? No, no one flinches, man. Nobody out here flinching. He's gonna hit up on my Lando. That's tough news. And this thing is sitting here with nothing. He's definitely flying into my landers. That's a fact, right? He's definitely flying into my landers. But I think we just, uh... We just have to drop a rock slide here. And landers goes next and then just drop a flash cannon into the landers. Alright, he's definitely flying into landers. Gastron's gonna protect. This will play by him. And just fly. Hopefully it misses. Maybe it misses. We'll see. We'll see. Fly comes in. The next. And we say bye-bye to our landers. Dang, dude. So far, tough first battle. Tough first battle. We started off really, really strong with the Spirit Tomb and the Regilecki. Then once we started getting into our back end, it was really tough. But Flash Cannon comes out here. If, um, I don't know if we can do this. I don't have any double-hitting moves. And if these guys start going into some ground moves. Oh! I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, this one's not looking good for you, boy. Could protect. Let's just drop this flash can. Let's just drop this flash can. Hopefully one of them misses. Hopefully something happens like that. Let's see it. Maybe it's, he's probably gonna fly again, yo. I swear, if he flies again, I'll be a little upset. I'll be a little upset. Don't you dare fly. If he flies, I gotta cancel battle. That's my. I'm calling it now. If he flies, I gotta cancel battle. He goes straight for the EQ. That's tough news. Gonna do some nice damage. Just hit up on the Gastro, but Gastro is just going to go into a uh, an Earth Power. And if we're able to eat up the Earth Power, which I don't think we are, or if he misses, a Draco Meteor could win us a match. Yo, fingers crossed, he misses. He's gonna, oh, he's going to recover. He's going to recover, so I think we still go into a Draco Meteor here. Hmm. Where do I flash camp? No, we got to go for it. We got to go for big damage. We have to go for big damage. No other option. You're gonna be just flying, getting after him, dealing some damage. Let's go. Give me a crit. Give me something juicy here. Oh no! No! Oh! Uh, no! No! We get a crit, but he wins off of a focus sash. A free fo- Yo, what is this game? Bro, I can't do it. I can't deal with the free focus sashes anymore, yo. I cannot do it anymore. I cannot deal with the free focus sashes anymore. Have you guys seen in the recent videos, probably within this month, of how many free focus sashes I've been giving people? We gotta start a counter, man. We have to start a counter, because I feel like every video or every other video, I'm giving out multiple free focus sashes. It is just nuts that how many Pokemon are living on one HP. But we're hopping into our second battle, looking to grab ourselves our first win here. We did play decent in that first battle. He definitely did earn that win, considering we got a crit there, but still. We did give him a free focus sash, which I'm still a little upset about, but we're going to grab ourselves a win here. Going up against the Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Actually, a very strong Shadow Rider Calyrex team. But Serene, Gothitelle, Intimidate, Incinemor, Ditto, and Regilek. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it first. Um, hmm, if you bring, I don't think he's going to realize that I do have a... going to pop a Trick Room. I am going to do it. I am going to pop a Trick Room, man. I am going to pop a Trick Room, and I do have Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch can do good here. Go protect first turn and then see how that plays out. Hmm. Definitely want a nice little intimidate Pokemon. I'm probably gonna go Gyarados here. And then Regilecki, but if we're going into Trick Room. Move this. So let's rip it. Let's get after it. Let's do this way. And let's get it. Let's get it. I wanna take out this on Shadow Rider Calyx. Really do. It's a good back to back Shadow Rider Calyx teams. First one we kinda had under control at the beginning lead with the Ndidi and the uh Shadow Rider Calyx. This was in battle number one. We were just snarling. And Eweb and kind of just taking control of that one. But then once we got into Dialga, he's very underwhelming. He was very, very underwhelming. Well, he just had a better match at them. Then he threw out the Lando. I couldn't go into EQ, so it was a little rough. But he goes into these two guys, and Trick Room is an absolute must. 
Trick Room is an absolute must. Uh, who do I go into? Could protect and drop a Snarl. Hmm. I could just Trick Room and drop a Snarl. You know, I could just go into a Sucker Punch here. Let's do that. Let's do that. If he's going for an attacking move, this could be big damage onto him as a Sucker Punch. Might even be able to pick up the KO. Sucker Punch is going to fly through it. It does connect. Built. Get him out of here, yo. It's Spirit Tomb, baby. Spirit Tomb rocking out early on here. God, I love it. Go ahead. Drop an E Web on me. Drop an E Web on me. You want to go straight for an Electro Ball? On the who? Go, go towards my Diablo. My, oh, yo, leave my Spirit Tomb alone. Leave him alone. He's chilling here. Trick Room is out and about. That's huge for us. That's huge for this fast little boy over here. Spirit Tomb, yo. The Shadow Rider Calyrex Killer. Yo, get him out of here. Yo, get these fools out of here. Get these fools out of here. He goes into the Ditto and who's he changing to? My Diablo, I think. Son of a biscuit. It's actually good because, like, like you guys will see in a second. He takes my typing. Doesn't he take my typing, I believe? Yeah, see? Like, Flash Cannon won't really do anything to him, and Draco Meter is super effective, so it's not like he can have the chance to outspeed me and Wolf from there. But in this case, I am just going to Snarl and just drop a Flash Cannon over onto you. Go into my Snarl. This big old Snarl here. Spear Tomb, baby. Yo, taking out Shadow Rider Calyrex early on there. That is really, really good. And if this, uh,. And if this Regilecki is Sash, we do take it off. Great. But the special attack drop is even bigger, considering it's on two special attackers. Yo, Spirit Tomb, baby. I'm liking him. I always love using off meta Pokemon, yo. The Flash Cannon comes out here. It's not very effective, but still doing a good amount of damage here. The Electro Ball's going to fly through here. Probably going after Spirit Tomb again. Yep, to take him out. But yo, he did some work. Yo, Sucker Punch to take out that Calyrex. And some big damage onto the Regilecki and uh, Dialga. And also get in the special attack drop. But he ends Trick Room here. That's a little rough. It's a little rough for me. I bring out Gyarados, but no, I'm actually gonna save the Gyarados here. I'm gonna bring you out here. Uh, do I just spore? What do I do? What do I do? I could go for the follow me. I think I might just spore onto the Ditto slot. Amoongus, how you doing? Uh, let's spore and pop another trick room. Spore and just pop another trick room. Because Dialga should be able to eat up whatever these guys have to offer. Be able to get off this Trick Room. And then I can just start Rage Powdering and spoiling left and right. But I feel like we're thriving. I feel like we're doing great. I feel like we're doing great. We have that Gyarados in the back end. And I'm kind of just saving him for the back end just in case a physical attack comes out. So if I can start off minus one, that can be big for me. E-Ball's going to come out here. Until Moongus will do. That's easy. It's all day. All day. And a Flash Cannon's going to fly through here. Moongus, what is that? That's easy eats, baby. Yo, dude, this dude's just soaking up. There's my Spore. Lovely. Great little turn for us. He has some Pokemon that can't really do any damage out onto us, so we're really thriving here. Trick Room's coming back out, and you cannot counter it again with your Trick Room because we gave you the Night Cult Bills. We put you to sleep. We told him to get out of our faces. Now we're sitting here in this position. I could just start dro dropping Draco Meteors. Or I could just uh, do this, and then maybe just start Grand Sonic, but I think Draco Meteor's going to have to start being the player. I could hard swap. This is exactly what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to hard swap here. Let's start dropping Draco Meteors. I guess I'll Grass Knot over to you. Oh, what did I just do? Did I use Draco Meteor? I think I did. I think I did. Please tell me I did. And this should KO. Yes, sir. Okay, you're dead. Please tell me I used Draco Meteor. <laughs> I totally forgot what I did. I used Flash Cannon. Oh, man. I used Flash Cannon. That's still doing some good damage. I do dig it. Do I still sleep? Trick Meter can take him out easily here. Easily here, but I don't know if I should go into it. Let's see who he goes into. Because we have Trick Room. I can put his next Pokemon to sleep easily. Easily, baby. Who is it? Gonna be Incineroar. So, are you gonna fake me out? You're gonna fake me out. Uh, I am just gonna go into a Trick Meter. Finish off this Dialga. I'm going to Rage Battle, but I'm just going to Spore. Right? Can we Spore this thing? I believe we can. I feel like the, just the, the Dark and the Prankster type throws me off with Spores and stuff. But Spore comes out first. Trick Room Spore is OP. It really is. But I do. That's GG's. That's GG's. This Draco Meteor should definitely be able to take out Diablo. 
alongside with uh, my Gyarados in the back end. It's just an easy 1v1 onto this incident. But Dragon Meteor flies through. That says bye bye Dialga. Our Dialga's better. Your Ditto stinks. Get him out of my game. We take him out easily. Easily. Instantly. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. And now we have him asleep. Now we have him asleep. And in that case, I'm just going to swap the Dialga. Just to play it safe. Because you never know. Just to play it safe, I just think it's to play. If, if I'm playing it like if I had to win this match, my life's on the line and I have to win this match. Sometimes I think like this. My life's on the line and I have to win this match. What is my play? Let's not go into a stupid play and just Draco Meteor. Let's hard swap while this Pokemon's asleep, go into my Gyarados, and then just start teeing off with, uh, I guess a, a clear smog will do the most damage. <laughs> we have our Amoongus, who definitely came in clutch, yo. Our two MVPs for this match is definitely Amoongus and Spiritomb, which was huge, but he cancels the battle. We're sitting at one and one. We can hop to our third and look for that winning record. Time to grab ourselves that winning record here in battle number three. We're going up against a very strong Zacian team that features Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Rillaboom, Indeedee, and Grimstone. Hopefully we can get after this one. Hopefully we can grab ourselves that dub and that winning record. I think we should be able to. There's a lot of physical attackers, so Intimidate is a must. I think Spiritomb's burns can really come in clutch. Um, I'd leave Lando. Lando could be a solid lead, but then he could go for fake out with that. So I think I'm just going to go Gyarados here easily as my lead and then bring Landorus for that double Intimidate. And then final Pokemon, do I go Regilecki or do I just stick Dialga? They just having Dialga could be really, really good in that back end. So I'm digging the seam, rocking out with the double Intimidate. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. I really want it. I really want it. But great set of battles today. We had Spirit Tomb showcasing in the first two battles. And he's going to be here in the third one. But he's definitely really good up against Shadow Rider Calyrexes. So if they are having Shadow Rider Calyrex teams and you are rocking out with the Spirit Tomb, try to get him out there. And if they're not rocking like Psychic Surge, Sucker Punch can take him out in first uh, hit. Kind of just showcase that in battle number one and two. Like, first battle, he did have Indeedy, so it was kind of tough for us to get to that uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex with the Sucker Punch because the Psychic Surge will not allow it. But second battle, he doesn't have Psychic Surge. We Sucker Punch instantly, and we just take that thing out so easily. So easily. With that Spear Tomb, bro. With a Spear Tomb. This might be one of the first battles where we're not seeing a Kyogre team. Pretty cool. I can get with that. I really like it, but still, we're going up against other meta Pokemon such as Shadow Rider Calyrex and Zassian. That's really nothing to really change. Nothing's really changing here. Gripstar and Robum is going to get the lead. He can fake out onto me. I think I'm going to drop a burn. I do have a nice little Intimidate. But if I can get off a burn onto that Robum, that could be huge for the rest of you. That could be huge for the rest of you. Huge, huge. And there's an Intimidate. Let's go for the burn. I might go for double burn. They, they might both be physical attackers. Could be set up screens. Could be double fake out. But uh, we're ghosts. We are a lovely ghost type, right? This thing's ghost. I'm trying to think. Right? This thing's ghost. Let me, let me check it out. Let me make sure. Yeah, he's ghost and dark. He's ghost and dark. I knew that. I knew that. But no, no, not Sucker Punch. We're going for a Willowist. We want the guaranteed burn. We want the guaranteed burn. So we're going for that. And I think I guess we go for a waterfall. Over on the Grimmy Grim. Over on the Grimmy Grim. Open going to fake out. Kind of saw that coming. That's huge for us. And what is Grimmy Grim now? He gets a crit. Oh, no, fake it. Okay, now my face. He's going to set up a reflex. I'm cool with that all day. Sets of Reflect, he's going to start getting screens rolling out here. And Gyarados flinches, and Will-O-Wisp. Mm. Ah! I hate this game! I hate this game! I hate this game, yeah, 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 yeah! I hate it so much! This game really stinks! Yeah, this game really stinks! Yeah, let me swap my Gyarados! Yeah! Oh my lord, man! Missing my dang Will-O-Wisp! That's all I wanted. That's why I brought the Spirit Tomb out here. I was like, let me get off with a wisp Let me do this. Let me get off my will o -Wisp. And I was like, okay, he's going to fake out. Rip, 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 rip. He fakes out. will o -Wisp. Miss. What you mean? Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Dang, game. Now, now I'm in a hole. Now, now I'm starting to dig myself a hole. We're heading down the losing path right now. But now we got to get out of it. All because of a missed will o -Wisp. So rough, dude. It's so rough. It's tough. But we're going to swap it to Orlando. Get off another Intimidate. We'll see what this dude does. Let's see what this dude does. We're going for another burn. We're going for another burn. He might swap the robot. Let's see. You're going to U-turn out. He's going to set up screens. Set up screens. But dude, I'm telling you, if I get off this burn, he's going to U-turn out. Or he does U-turn out. That's fine. Just throw out a physical attack. Throw out a physical attack. Please. Please, for me. He does have a lot, but I think the Finny's going to come out here. I really do think the Finny's going to come out here. I had to guess it's top of Finny. Right? Am I genius? No, it's gonna be indeed. And Zassian has to be his last guy. So no sucker punches allowed for me. 
It does change the surge. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's change go for here. Do not want to go for EQ. Let's start snarling. The snarl could be nice. Snarl could be real nice. Then we special defense when Lewis comes out. And now this one connects. Now this one connects. That's a nice lovely little burn. A lovely little burn. Alright, so we're chipping away. Slowly doing damage. We still have all of our Pokemon. I think Snarl is just a play. Let's see, uh, could you turn out? I think you turn out is going to be our play as well. Let's do it. Even though he has a reflect up, I can still get with it. I'm gonna withdraw the Grim Snarl. I'm cool with that. You go back into the room. He is gonna go back into the room. Which is totally cool. And is there a reasoning behind that? Thinking I'm going for maybe like an Earth Power or. Is that what we want to swap for? But we're U turn out here. Doing some damage onto the Indeedee. And now he can definitely go for Follow Me's. Uh, I think we just swap back into Gyarados for that Intimidate. Right? Right? Yeah, I think that's a play. I think that's a lovely little play here. So we're gonna play this one slow. We're gonna play this one slow. I'll play it slow all day. So we get off the Intimidate. He's definitely following me next turn, just so we don't get off the burn. I had to guess. Here's the Expanded Force. And he switches terrain, so that's great for us. That's easy eats with the Soul Fest. And uh, we're gonna start snarling and bringing that thing special attack to Alright, so there's that. Beautiful, lovely. I wonder why he did swap if uh, he knew he's going into that. So, this is what I see. I see another follow me popping. Well, not another one. I see a first follow me popping. I think he's gonna go for the fake out. Um, I still think we uh, we just stay in for this turn. I'm actually just gonna go for a burning jealousy. Knowing that he's gonna go for this uh, fake out, I think we just go into this burning jealousy and just double down into the D. Right, right. I think that's cool. I, I think that's a smart call. I think it's fake out into the follow me just so he doesn't get off the doesn't want the burn. Oh no, we withdraw. We could have burned. We could have burned. So yeah, asking him to fly, fly out here. So next turn, we're going with Intimidates. I mean, we do get off a nice, lovely Burning Jealousy. A nice, really good one. Is he faking me out here? Grassy guy's gonna fly. Can we eat? Should be eat, yeah. Can we eat? Punch gonna fly across here. I think, I think I'm just going to swap here. And we are gonna get off a nice, lovely Burning Jealousy, which is guaranteed to burn on his asking because he just got a plus one, right? That should be guaranteed burn. Right? Oh my lord, yes sir! Loving it! Loving it, yo! Love and burn jealousy. Perfect for Zassians. Alright, that's lovely. Uh, let's just swap. <clears throat> let's just swap here. Let's just do a swap. Swap into a will o wisp here. Get my Lando back out here. Yo, this thing is going to be minus one in the burn. Actually, it's going to be even. Robin's going to be minus two. Oh my lord, yo, physical attackers, they stand no chance. No chance with the burns, the intimidates coming out here. We're just gonna play this one slow and try to grab ourselves this one. Yo, that couldn't have worked out any better, yo. Burn and Jealousy, he swaps into Zassian. Zassian gets a stat boost, which means Burn and Jealousy is a guaranteed burn. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But we're gonna save this character. He is down to 58 HP. We're gonna save his intimidate for another one later in the match. And we're gonna get out Landers here. And Landers can just drop Earth Powers and do great amount of damage on some of these Pokemon. But more importantly, I wanted this Intimidate out and about. And he's going to go for the Grassy Glide. <clears throat> That's huge. That's an easy turn for us. Behemoth Blade's going to fly through here. That's the Easy Eats. Easy Eats all day. Love your hand. Easy Eats. Going into my Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb soaks that up. Can we land this Will-O-Wisp, though? He does it. He finally does it. Yo, that's how we get ourselves out of a hole. We got two big physical attackers with the burn. We know his last two Pokemon. Indeedy and Grimstorm. Now we can start uh, hitting up and dealing some damage off the night. Let's swap again, but... I mean, if I'm going to swap, now would be the time to swap into my Dialga. And I could drop an EQ. I mean, oh, does Grass Terrain take away damage from... I think it takes away damage from EQ, but not Earth Power. Let's see this. Hmm. Pokemon on the ground will have a little HP resport. No, it, it, I know it does something to grab me, so I might just U-turn pivot. I just U-turn pivot. Or I could just Earth Power. I think I'm just gonna save him for the back end. I'm just gonna U-turn pivot here. 
Let's do it. You turn pivot into my Dialga. Bop. Dealing some damage. Lovely. These guys aren't going to deal a lot of damage at all. So there's my U-turn. Let's get out my Dialga at this time. And now I could pop a Trick Room if I really, really want to. I really, really want to. I'm not worried about the Grimstar or the uh, DD to do much. This thing's going to Sword Sands. Going to Sword Sands. It's a little tough. He's burned. I have to go back out into the Intimidate. He turns to come out from the real boom. Find a little cookie. I'm cool with that. Uh, ch 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 How do I do this one? I might swap my Spirit Tomb. I might do. I might swap into my spirit team. Ooh, we, could go, we could start going for follow me's. Burns are out. But if he goes for follow me, I don't know if I should keep in my spirit team. We know a choice scarf EQ could do some good damage. Burns else going to gonna fly through and start chipping away. Lowly chipping away, dealing some damage left and Uh, can't go into a Draco meteor onto the Zacian. That is a no no. Could go into a flash. Game. What do I want to do here? Let's just protect you. I think I might just protect me. We have three burns out on the field. I think we just protect. And if he tries to take out my spirit tomb, and if he does end up taking out spirit tomb, I'm fine with it. Follow me, he's gonna come out here. We're burning jealousy again. Uh, he might sword stance up again. He is. Like I said, dude, we get out. Uh, we get out. What's it called here? That's huge. We get out my uh my landers. We outspeed all day. Off some nice damage. Another burn jealousy could do work. Uh, I'm trying to think do I really need Gyarados? Hmm. Do the same thing. Do I go for protect? <laughs> um, let's go for his flash cannon. Well, I could have flash cannon him a while ago. I should have. Here comes follow me. That's fine. That is fine. What's he going for? Here comes the Behemoth Blade. Is that going after Spirit Tomb? I don't care if you go after Spirit Tomb. I don't see that going after Diago. Yes, Spirit Tomb. Can you eat this? No. Okay, so he double sword stance up. That's fine. I'm I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Because this flash cannon will take you out. I think he brings out Real Boom. That's a problem though. He brings out Real Boom. If he brings out Real Boom, I'm hard swamping. But reflects finally wears off. That's good. Uh, do I I'll bring out Gyarados turn one? Which I am gonna do. I kind of want to waste this figure because I think the Rillaboom is coming out here. I know, he's gonna bring out the Grimstone. I'm cool with that then. Okay. Right. Brings out the Grimstone. Uh, I think I just get after Zacian. Zacian's a big threat. That seems a big threat. That's a nice little intimidate there. Uh, if I can fake out, I might have to double down into this Pokemon. Waterfall on the Flash Cannon. You know, Flash Cannon can do some big damage on the Grimmy. Uh, I need Zassing gone. That's a fact. I need Zassing gone at this point. I need him gone. Let's see what he does. Yeah, we play this one super, super well. It's, but it's still really, really close. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call it over just yet. I'm not gonna call it over just yet. He can't fake me out, so. I think the double down was a bad call, but actually I do think it was a good call because he might take me out. Yeah, he's gonna Thunder Wave, and the Psychic Terrain is out, and he forgot about Psychic Terrain. He's gonna go for the Sacred Swords. That oh, it does not take me out. Let's go, let's go all day, yo, all day, yo. Waterfall takes you out. That's even better because now my Flash Cannon slides over to the Grimstar. Should be able to take him out, and yeah, we're thriving here. We're thriving. That's G to the G's, baby. G to the G's. Considering we have another Intimidate in the back, another Intimidate in the back. Love it. Light screen wears off. We chillin'. We are chillin'. He wastes a turn with that with that uh, thunder wave too. Little boom comes out here. He's definitely gonna glide onto me. I'm cool with the glide. I'm totally cool with the glide. Where does he fake out? Either way, he's gonna go after my Gyarados with the shot. He's going after Gyarados. Uh now I could just go into just go into our waterfall, I guess. Going into Stone Edge. Stone Edge in the roll boom will probably do the most damage, and Flash Cannon should be able to take out Grimstarl. We have Orlando in the back, but I can see this guy just canceling very soon. Yo, dude, Spear Tomb? 
Very, very good. Very good when played right. He set up the burn, she has a special attack drops, and then that sucker punch for Shadow Rider Calyrex schemes. Mwah. It's beautiful. It is too good. It is way too strong. Way too strong. I love this team so much. Really did love it. Grace guy flying through here. Saw that coming all day. Bye bye, Gyarados. You did your job. Flash Cannon's gonna slide over here unless he sets up a reflect. Sets up a light or the light screen. I meant to say light screen. And I still think this can take it out. Let's see. Make it happen, Dialga. Come on, yo. Come on. Get him out of here. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Run it up. Run up. Oh, we get a crit. Ooh, we get a crit, baby. Oh, we love the crits. We love the crits around here. I know you guys love the crits, too. I know you love them, too. But, yo, dude, the burns are just, just want us to match, man. The burns are ridiculous. Burn is so good. will o -Wisp and Burn Jealousy. Spirit Tomb is just an absolute beast. I love it so much. I really did love this Pokemon. I didn't think I was going to enjoy him and uh, play as good as I did with him. I really did not see that, this coming. But, yo, we played super, super well with him. Control Battle. And using a Pokemon like this, like, really, like, helps us, like, slow down our pace because like the team's not just like oh let's go in hack and slash heavy hitting dealing a lot of damage like when you use a Kyrie team you know you're just showing for hard hits and big kills when you're using a team like this it's more so like okay i gotta slow down my pace and play very very smart and that's really like how i like to play i just think it's the best way he grass you guys that's easy eats he's burned and he is minus one you turn to gonna pop probably not pick up the ko oh 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 another free focus ash dude way to end the video another free focus ash for this guy <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you, I give him out way too much. But Jerker Meter comes in here, cleans up that 1 HP, and we have a dominating video and go 2 and 1. From this video forward, we are now keeping count of all the free focus ashes that I hand out in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopefully this works out here. Hopefully the viewers who watch mo most of my videos or watch all of my videos can help me keep count. But we're starting off with two. We're sitting at two. So every time in the next future videos, we get a free focus ash, somebody add it to the count and leave it in the comment section down below. So if we get two in the next video, big like, hey jeans, we're down to four focus ashes or we're up to four focus ashes in the comment section down below. It would be awesome. I think it could be a cool gimmick that I can do with my viewers. I just feel like I've been giving them out too, too much as recently it's really been crazy but guys i love this team so much i think spirit tomb was tons of fun to use definitely very off meta and very strong at the same time he's very good at controlling the battles with the snarls and the burns dialga very underrated in uh for restricted mod i think we played really well with him did some big damage and picked up some big ko's with him and then the double intimidate squad worked out very strong and helped us out up against physical attackers but guys that is going to be for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.